love who we are. God created us, so why would he not love us? Here they go again. I'm trying to preach, birds. Come on. Not really. I don't know how to preach. Hey y'all, we are on our walk and it is cold out here today. Well, to me it's cold. It's what, 50 degrees, I think. So, I'm all bundled up in Jimmy's favorite jacket. And Quasimodo is back. Hey y'all, we're done. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Um. It was cloudy this morning because it rained a lot last night. And um, after the rain, it cooled off drastically because it had gotten up into the 70s later in the afternoon yesterday. So after it rained, it cooled off. So it was pretty cold when we first started, but I'm toasty now because of my nice purple marshmallow jacket. Um, anyways, I'm pooped. We're gonna go inside. Well, I'm gonna go inside get me some amino energy, wake myself up because I'm still sleepy. Hey y'all, it is 10 o'clock and I haven't had one ounce of water yet. I just filled up my jug, my 64 ounce jug. So I'm about to chug that because I'm super thirsty after that walk, but I'm also craving some tea. So and I gotta drink my amino energy drink. I'm gonna challenge myself to finish this gallon of water before 7.30 again. So, fingers crossed, but I'm kinda of doubting myself that I will, but I'll try. All right, see ya. Real quick, y'all have heard me talk about some green onions that I grew. These are the onions I was talking about. Y'all, green onions are very simple to grow. I usually buy green onions and then before I can use them all, they look pretty nasty and it's time to throw them out. So all you have to do is cut the green part off and plant the white bulb with the roots and in no time you're going to have onions. And then also this cabbage that you see down in there, we had a cabbage that we finished. Um, There's just one I bought from the store after we finished it. I'd cut a good chunk of the the bottom off and planted it and it started growing new leaves so I heard you could do this with collards and so I was like well I'm gonna try this with cabbage and sure enough I got a whole new cabbage growing I don't know how it's gonna look when it fully forms I don't know if it will go back into the shape of what a cabbage is supposed to look like or if it's just gonna grow leaves like this and anyways trying to be resourceful and not waste and trying to save money at the same time. I guess that means resourceful, doesn't it? Anyways, all right, see ya. Hey y'all, um, I thought I would come outside this afternoon and talk a little bit about the book that I've been reading during 75 Hard. I've mentioned it a couple times, but I've never really dug deep into it. But it's called How to Be Like Jesus, and it's written by Pat Williams. Pat Williams um, was, was or still is, I'm not sure, but he was the vice president of Orlando Magic. Uh, the basketball team 
So again, I don't know if he still is, but he was. So he's the one that wrote it. So in this book, How to Be Like Jesus, these are some of the chapter titles. You're first introduced to who is Jesus, how to have integrity like Jesus, how to obey like Jesus, how to be angry like Jesus, how to talk like Jesus, how to think like Jesus, pray like Jesus, forgive like Jesus, be humble like Jesus, love like Jesus, endure like Jesus, grieve like Jesus, and lead like Jesus. And the list goes on. There's some more things. Um, but right now I'm in the chapter of how to be humble like Jesus. And yeah, this book is really good. My husband has been trying to get me to read this for years. Sorry for the bird in the background. <laughs> My husband's been trying to get me to read this for years and I kind of just kept putting it off. And um, so I thought for 75 hard, I would read it. And I'm glad I did. Um, I think those birds are doing that on purpose. I'm gonna wait till they stop. Okay, I've waited long enough. Um, sound like one bird was bothering another bird and some black birds flying around. So hopefully, I just saw two birds fly off. So hopefully that was them. Okay, so back to where I was. I'm in the chapter called How to Be Humble Like Jesus. And two parts of this chapter really stood out to me. So I thought I would just read them to you. Um, in this chapter, here we go again. I don't think they want me to talk about the book. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so in How to Be Humble Like Jesus, it says most of the people whose lives Jesus, Jesus touched were outcast of one kind or another. We saw Jesus reach out to touch a leper, the most shunned of all social outcasts. We saw him heal the servant of a Roman centurion, one of the hated oppressors. He spared the woman caught in adultery as she was about to be stoned. And now Jesus is speaking to a tax collector, who's Matthew, a traitor and a thief. Again and again, he reached out to the lowest of the low, outcast, enemies, sinners, traitors, and crooks. You know, what I love about this is that God and Jesus, they're not looking for perfect people. Like, they love us. And, you know, of course, they don't want us to sin because, you know, sin is terrible. But, I don't know, they just love who we are. God created us, so... Why would he not love us? Here they go again. I'm trying to preach, birds. Come on. Not really. I don't know how to preach. But yeah, I just love this. You don't have to be perfect to come to God. <laughs> like, we all mess up. We all do things and say things that we shouldn't. Um, but Jesus will never reject us. God will never reject us. Um, I don't know. I just love that part about him. All right, the next part, I felt emotional about this one. And it says, but Jesus set an example for his followers, showing compassion and acceptance toward the lowest of the low. His message was that everyone is the same. No one is greater, no one is lesser. God loves everyone alike. We must stop giving undue deference to the high and mighty. We must stop treating the low and lowly with contempt. We must begin to see all people as God sees them. And yeah, I guess the reason why this spoke to me is because like my personality, I'm shy. <laughs> I am a, definitely a big introvert and super shy until I get to know people. Um, I've always been intimidated by those in authority over me. And this chapter or this little paragraph just reminded me, we're all the same. It doesn't matter what your title is, you know, in God's eyes, we're all the same. We are all worth the blood of Jesus. Um, no one is greater than anyone else. So it just, it really spoke to me. So again, I've really enjoyed this book, How to Be Like Jesus, and I'll probably talk more about it uh, when I find other things.
that I feel like a connection to and have a have a strong opinion about. All right, well, I'm gonna go inside and let these birds do their thing and I'll see you soon. Hey y'all, it is nine o'clock and I lost the water challenge that I made for myself this morning. Of course, I knew I wasn't gonna accomplish it. Um, I was hoping to do what I did yesterday, finish my gallon of water before 7.30. And that didn't happen. So I did get started later drinking it. I didn't start drinking it until around 10. But um, like I always do, I always sip on other things, drink other things throughout the day because I just get really tired of the water. The water is my biggest issue. And so anyways, um, so I've got this much left probably 10 ounces left and I am working on that I'm working on editing this video <laughs> and then I'm gonna call it a night because I'm sleepy yeah all right y'all I will see y'all on day 19 and y'all if you ever have any questions comments you know feel free to leave them below and I will get back to you. All right, y'all. See you soon. Bye.